What is going on everyone? Well, before we get into today's video, for one and one final time only, giveaway at 15k, this is your final opportunity to enter. If you would like to enter the giveaway at 15k, this is all you have to do. If you have Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, these are your steps. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, follow me on Insta, TikTok, or Facebook, or all three, and comment below and let me know what state do you live in, what country do you live in, what province do you live in, depending on where you're at in the world, wherever, comment that below. Now, if you do not have any other social media other than YouTube, then this is how you're going to enter. Simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment below and let me know what you eat for breakfast today. That's it. That's all you have to do, and you'll be entered. So what I'm gonna be giving away is a three and a half gallon starter kit, which you can see right here. If you wanna see one actually being set up, I gave one of these away at the giveaway at 10K. You can go see that video right here up at the top. Uh, this is a kid named The Bryn. He's got a channel, about 265 subscribers. He won my giveaway at 10K, and he just did this video setting his up. So if you wanna go check that out, like I said, you can do that in the card right up here. But let's get into today's video. All right guys, well, welcome to today's video and we really appreciate all the support. We appreciate everything you guys do for us that allows us to continue to make these videos. So absolutely make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and please, you know, add some comments down below. It just helps with the video being promoted in the, you know, crazy YouTube algorithm. So, but you have heard me on my channel and in many videos talk about my absolute hatred for pest snails and yes i know there are people out there who talk about how yeah they're good they clean the tank yeah they do but i don't need 47 million of them in a five gallon aquarium cleaning the tank that's fine i have a, a hill stream loach in there that can do that so i want to get rid of them if i could reduce them down to about even to about three million i'd be no seriously i mean like there's so many snails in here so what I'm going to do today in this video is I'm going to show you how to effectively capture the snails. And then when we're done capturing them, we're going to take them over to Brenton's house where he has a pea puffer and we're going to feed them all to the pea puffer because I hate these things. So we're going to get rid of them. But here's what I'm talking about. Let me show you here. So this right here is the black water tank. And just look on, look on the, my, my piece of driftwood here. Do you see all those? Look all up there. Look at the millions of snails. I mean, they are, there's so many snails. They are literally starting to float on the surface of the water. Look at this. It is ridiculous. And then if we move over here to the guppy tank, look at them up there. There's so many snails. It is so ridiculous. How many snails do we truly need? You know how many we need? None. Zero. So today we're gonna build a DIY snail trap. What we're gonna build that out of is some pretty simple things that everybody has around. So if you have a pea puffer and you need something to feed them and you have a tank full of snails, this is an easy way for you to gather food for your pea puffer. Simple and easy. So let's get into this today. All right guys, well to get this build going, you're gonna need a couple of very simple things that you probably have around the house and if not, you can find them pretty easily. You need two bottles. Two plastic bottles like this, and honestly, it does not matter what kind of bottle it is. It could be a soda bottle, it could be a electrolyte drink bottle, it could be a plastic water bottle. It does not matter as long as it's a plastic bottle that you can cut and you need a top on it. And you will need two bottles. You will also need some sort of a cutting utensil does not matter what it is. That's a little extreme. Or you could just use spare scissors, <laughs> whatever. But let's get into this build and I'll show you how this works. Oh, also, you're gonna need some sort of a bait, something that snails like to eat. Well, personally, the 42 million snails I have seem to like to eat anything. So we're gonna try a couple of different things and see what we can catch them with. All right, let's get into this build. Okay, to start, what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna cut the bottom of the bottle off. And I am literally just trying to get the knife in there so I can slice around the bottom of this bottle. Just like that. And the first piece is done. Now we're gonna take the second bottle and guess what? We're gonna do the same thing. It does not have to necessarily be straight. You don't have to be a precision knife cutter or scissor cutter. Now the bottom of these, these right here, you literally 
throw them away. Don't need them. All we need is these two pieces right here. This right here. One other thing that you can actually do, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I personally do it just simply because of the fact that I don't want fish swimming up into the bottle. But if you have access to a drill, the idea is, is to drill a hole through the top. That way only the snails can get in so you don't capture your fish as well. But if you don't have access to a drill bit, literally just leave the top off the bottle and the snails will still be able to get into there. But you could also catch some fish that you'll have to remove at some point. To drill the hole, I just simply drill right in the middle. And if you do drill it out, just make sure you get the little shards off the side as much as you can. All right, so now we have this together. Now the construction of this is, is so difficult. I mean, like it's so hard. Let me show you how hard this is now. I mean, like it is so hard. I'm kidding, it's not. So to construct this snail trap, it's as simple as this. If you had a drill and you were able to drill the holes into the tops of the bottle, simply screw the top back onto the bottle on each side, just like this. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bottle and we're gonna press it into the other bottle, like, now, what we have is we have a double-ended bottle. That's it. This is your do-it-yourself snail trap. And then all you're gonna wanna do is open up one end of this and put some bait down inside of here. Now, me personally, I have some leftover tilapia from feeding the indoor pond, and I'm just gonna put a couple of cubes of tilapia in here. Snails like to eat fish. Put the cap back on it. And that's it. Now we're gonna go put this thing into a tank. I think we should start with the black water tank. Let's get this going. As you can see, this thing is overrun with snails. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one cap off. That way it can actually fully submerge with well, filling up with water. And then once it submerges, it should sink. If it does not sink, which mine's having a little problem sinking at the moment, just trying to get all the air bubbles out. All right, it looks like it's gonna sink. And then you just simply cap it back off. Now, if you need to, you can go ahead and put some rocks in there. All right, I went ahead and put a rock inside of there to hold it down. But now it's just a matter of getting the snails in there. So we're gonna let this sit for a while and see what happens. Two days later. Hey Max, what do you think, dude? Do you think there'll be any snails in the trap? Yeah, there'll probably be a lot. You think so? Yeah. Don't fall. All right, well, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I would say that the snail trap is a success. Look at this. There are snails all in there. All right, let's get this thing out of here. All right, well, this has only been in here for about, I don't know, an hour. And we're gonna take a look and see how many snails we actually caught. You just open the lid and they come out. Well, first I'm draining the water out of it, buddy. We got this thing emptied out and put back together. I can't get all the snails out because they're up inside of there and I'm not gonna take this thing apart. I'm gonna leave it as it is. But you can see, I went in and added one piece of tilapia back in there, added the rock back in. But this is what we caught in about an hour. Uh, so I would say that this thing was super successful. So I'm gonna save all these right here, and I am going to give them to Brenton. Let's go ahead and get this snail trap back in here, because we're gonna let this thing sit here for a couple of days and see what we can get caught in here. I'll give you guys an update on this in my next video. Well, that was obviously a success. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything and see how everything is doing. We have the guppy breeding tank. Everything is looking good in here. We did relocate these little guppies right here into this tank, and that is simply because of the fact that we have a new fish in the guppy tank. If you saw Brenton's video, he needed a place for a fish so we went ahead and took it in. We have the, look at that, snails already going back into the bottle, which we've already seen today, but look, they're just all over the place. They, this thing works really well. We have the black water tank. The neon tetras are doing well. You have the little hill stream loach back there on the glass, on the wall. We have the paradise betta, he's looking good. Down here, we have the little pink belly side neck, the little musk turtle. We have the rescue bettas. There's one, there's one back there. There's one, there's one. We got one there, one there. We got one right there, one right there. They're all looking good. So all those tanks are good looking good. You know what, why don't we do a feeding on the indoor pond real quick. Go grab some tilapia, frozen tilapia that is. Okay. 
All right, I have a plate full of frozen tilapia here that's been defrosted, as you just saw. And little Max is going to start picking up these pieces and throwing them in there. Is that one hard? Yeah. Yeah, get some softer. That one's still a little frozen. Get some of these over here on this hard. side. Hard. Oh, you go fast again. Yeah. He's right. so fast. I know. Whoa! <laughs> that, was <so> <laughs> <laughs> that was the knife fish. Knife fish took it. Yeah, fast. Oh, there's the Paku. There's the Paku. All right, guys. Well, you know, somebody had asked in the last video, which was focused on, not the last video, but the last hamster video, which was focused on putting the new little robo hamster in his new big enclosure. And somebody asked about the dumpster hamster and why I would get another hamster. Well, the little dumpster hamster, look at, oh, there's the dumpster hamster. And he's doing just fine. Or she, I don't know. I still don't know what it is, but still, look, perfectly fine. Loves its enclosure. Doesn't want to go anywhere. Always comes out and plays with us. Max loves it. But yeah, so the dumpster hamster is doing fine. So here's your update on the dumpster hamster. Well, as you can see, the rasbora tank is looking really well. There are the Cory catfish. They're just hanging out. There's all the rasbora. Look at all the snails in here. We definitely need to get us a snail trap in here as well as that thing work. But everything in here is looking good. Now on over to the 100 gallon. Here's the 100 gallon. It's looking good. If you didn't see my last video, I've taken the background out because we're going to rescape this tank. But everything in here is looking good. You got the angelfish. There's Zeckley and Billy. You got Mr. Pleco. You got the other Pleco up there behind the input on that filter. The Bala Shark. You got all the Glow Tetra. You have the Buenos Aires Tetra. The Serpe Tetra. But everything in here is looking really good. Now here is the guppy tank that we relocated the guppies out of and that's because we put this thing in there. Well, and you ask what that is, and we're really not sure. We think it's called a jade goby, but we're not positive. We we really don't know. So if you happen to know what this fish is, please comment below and let me know because we we honestly have no clue. All right. Well, everything in the tanks are looking good. You got to see the dumpster hamster. So I've decided to name the hamster Carl. What do you guys think about that? Carl. And we're gonna call this right here Carl's Corner. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what you think about Carl as the name. If you like it, you don't like it, whatever. But yeah, Carl. Carl's Corner. And if you notice, there's some substrate all over the top of this thing. And that's because of my last video. I'm filming all these videos at once. That's from the last video because we have some cleaning to do because we built this uh, high powered air cannon that shoots bait for fishing as well as other things. So we decided last night we were gonna fill it up with a substrate and shoot it at Brenton when he came through the door and there's substrate all over my house. So Max and I have to get to cleaning that up today but we thought it was pretty funny. So anyway, well listen, Hey, you know what? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today because I'm telling you now, this do-it-yourself snail trap really worked as you saw in this video. I mean, it is fantastic for taking care of the snails. So I'm gonna take this, all the snails basically and I'm gonna take them to Brenton so he can feed them to his puffer fish. So anyway, well, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you have not entered for the giveaway, you've had multiple times over the last few videos. Today is the last video that will give you an opportunity to enter. So if you haven't entered, you have today. That's it. I'm picking a winner tomorrow and that video will come out either Monday evening or Tuesday. And if you don't get your entry in before I draw the winner, then you're going to miss out. So make sure that you get entered. So with all that being said, if you have not subscribed or you have not followed me on Instagram, please do that now and hey, we'll see you next time.